Monkey fans and shrill addicts, how you doing? It's the Chappers, back to update you on my signature guitar. Well, first of all, I'd like to say a massive thank you for the 346 comments uh, and uh, masses of mail I've had from you guys about my signature guitar. It's very, very exciting and I'm really pleased that you're interacting about this because, after all, you guys are going to buy it. Since I last spoke to you, I whittled down about 15 separate designs, threw them up on the Monkey Lord forum and had a bunch of guys uh, go over them, talk about variables, things we could change, concepts. Um, had a really fun time. And thank you for all the guys from YouTube that joined up and helped out with this. Um, it's really important to me that this guitar, although it's my signature model, is kind of two thirds me and a third you guys. I think that would be really cool. Um, and what I've done now is taken all the ideas, concepts, and what have you from all of you and got it down to one final sort of concept guitar type. So I'm going to show you this concept now, um, and I'd like you all to sort of share your thoughts, discussions, things you'd like to change, things you like. Bearing in mind that the retail value of this guitar will be about 250 English pounds, which is roughly 400 US dollars, I believe. So here is the Monkey Lord 1. Uh, as you can see, it's got a mahogany body with a black stain. Uh, I've kept it hum sing sing. I like the zebra effect on the humbucker, so I've kept that. Uh, it's going to have a kill pot, which is something that Shadow just come out with. I believe Gibson has just bought a load of them. Uh, so the volume pot is actually also a kill switch. Now I'm going to test one of these coming up pretty soon and see what it's like because this is a new thing uh, and I want to make sure it's really, really sturdy and strong for a hammering from the Monkey Lord. I'd also like a coil tap on the bridge pup and there'll be a toggle switch rather than a strat type 5 blade because I don't really like those. The plastic knob keeps firing off and I think that's annoying. Um, very important to me that all the tonal areas are really high quality. Uh, in fact, what, I, what I'm really keen on doing is spending the majority of the money in the build on the parts that can't be upgraded. I always encourage guitarists to find their own sound. So something that I think is crucial for this guitar is that the parts that you wouldn't upgrade are really high quality and the parts that you would upgrade necessarily aren't quite as expensive a component. So for example, I really want to have ebony fretboard, hogany body, maple neck, bone nut. Uh, those things are the essential ingredients as far as I'm concerned for great rock guitar tone. And then the pickups, they're going to be good, but they're not going to be amazing. They're not going to be a brand model. So you can swap them out, get your own signature sounds. So what else do you need to know? Well, it's going to have a reversed Telecaster headstock. Uh, it's going to be a six string. It's going to have extra jumbo frets. It's going to come strong with Dear Dario 10 gauge because they're the best strings in the world. Basically it will be a guitar designed by a guitarist with direct input from the people but with Monkey Lord Win at heart. So think of this as the first collaborative guitar design. After much thought I decided to go for a hardtail. Now um, I've never been a big tremolo fan, I've always blocked them off and I actually considered having a trem with a block inside it like I do most of my guitars. But I think that's just a waste of money and time. Um, a good hardtail is a great guitar. I really focus my playing on blues, rock and metal and I really enjoy drop tuning you know, down to D, down to C, all that kind of thing. And I think a tremolo gets in the way of that. So as far as I'm concerned, it's going to have to be a hardtail. However, if I can sell 500 of these bad boys, I'll be allowed to make a couple more models and one of those will be a full-on death machine. Now, I'm not a narcissist, I'm not bothered about having my, my name and my details all over this guitar. I've specifically chosen not to have uh, a Monkey Lord type fret inlay. Uh, I think that's probably a bit over the top. I don't want people to, to not buy it because they don't particularly like me as an artist. I want them to look at it and think, that's a great guitar. Um, so I'm going to have uh, a stamp on the back of the headstock that says Monkey Lord approved. I think that's kind of a cool thing. Obviously my name's on the headstock, it is my guitar, but I'm not going to have Rob Chappers sprayed all over it in some kind of fancy pants way. It's not about that for me. So anyway, hope you like the look of this. Uh, give me your feedback, you know, I'm going to go through one more round of people discussing this. Come to my forum, go to the thread that's talking about this guitar, and uh, I'll come up with one last final brief, and then I'll present this to the board, and then we're going to get this bad boy made. So, take it easy, Chappers out.